So Yonsa Labs has been working on a simple project management tool called Simple SDLC and they asked me to do a Slack integration so that it can improve uh, project communication. So in this video I'll just go over uh, the basic steps of, uh, that I went through to accomplish that. Uh, there are three, three different parts, uh, adding, a, adding an incoming webhook to Slack creating a script include to handle the message and getting a business rule to execute the script include. So the first part is uh, getting an incoming webhook uh, into your Slack channel. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do here, we're going to go, um, we're just going to go to slack.com and for this example I'm going to create a new channel um, you might have one already that you want to use, but we'll do Slack integration. And I'm just going to make it private for this case. Okay, so I have my new channel, and right here there's this button, Add an App or Custom Integration, and we're going to click on that. And then we're going to search for Incoming Webhooks. And we're going to add that. Okay, so on this page, if you scroll down towards the bottom, there is a webhook URL, and we're going to copy that. Okay, so uh, for simple SDLC, I put the webhook URL in side of the projects. Here's a demo project. Um, I'm just going to replace this really quick. Okay, so um, as you can see here, uh, I had a, a field inside of my project table that asked for the endpoint of the Slack integration, and so that's where I put the URL. And then also I've uh, generated a few sprints here, so we're going to just update that. And then we're going to pull from that project later in this video. Okay, so the next step is to create a script include. We're going to go to Studio. Open up our application. Okay, so let's go to Script Includes. And this is the one that I made, the Slack integration. And um, as you can see here, it takes in a project uh, in the constructor and then it defines what the endpoint is based off of that project. So we, we pull that URL that we submitted and put it as the endpoint for this class. And then I have a function here that takes in the story ID as well as some name value pairs and then it just kind of formats that and gets it to look the way that we want. And then it posts the message to Slack down here. And um, the final part is the business rule. And in this case, we wanted a new Slack message every time a story was created. So we have an insert operation here. Um, and then we have a script that goes through, it creates a new instance, it passes in the current project um, to our script include, which takes that and finds the URL. Um, then uh, we have a bunch of, we have an array of name value pairs, and these are uh, just different attributes, like the notification is, says which story has been created, and who it's assigned to, and what the description is, and it pushes the uh, it passes the story ID and the name value pairs into the other function on our script include, which will then format it and uh, post the message. So if we we're to show you an example here, we'll come back and we'll go to stories and we'll create a new one. And we'll open up our demo project and our first sprint in there 
we're going to assign the developer to able to here and the short description is just going to be test integration here okay so let's submit that now if we come back to our slack channel we will see a new message here um, it's formatted the way we wanted it says notification new story has been created uh, it gives the description and who it's assigned to so that's just the basic rundown of how to integrate Slack into your own application.